Hello everyone, welcome back to Rachel's studio and in today's video we are going to work on some really easy Valentine's Day hearts that are really fun and fast and they're really quite mesmerizing. Perhaps not as mesmerizing as Patrick Swayze. Good girl. Good girl. Close your eyes. Good girl. Good girl. But pretty mesmerizing. So let's get started and have some fun. First, let's talk about the materials I used. I used my paints that I bought off Amazon for $12.99. I wanted to make this tutorial especially accessible and fun and easy and fast, so I, I also used paint for the most part that is not expensive, so you don't have to have expensive artist quality paints for these if you don't care about them fading over the years. You just want to do something fun and fast and make they make cute little gift cards too if you want to use them for that. And they're fast enough that you can make a lot of them. <laughs> and you'll want to make a lot of them because they're so addicting and mesmerizing to make. The most important thing to get your hearts to look like mine did, which is really dreamy and soft, is Yupo paper. And that might be a paper that you haven't even heard of, but it's kind of like painting on plastic. But I painted on my Yupo paper for this tutorial uh, just because I wanted to have a little bit of a unique look to my watercolors and Yupo will do that for you and give you an automatic style. And if you don't have Yupo paper, you can also use cold press paper. You really don't have to paint on Yupo paper, just paint a lot of wet and wet colors together just like I do and you'll get some really soft dreamy effects as well. The other thing that you will want is a magic eraser. And I use a magic eraser and scrub the surface of my Yupo paper to make it receive the paint better. If you don't do that, your Yupo paper may beat up. It just depends on the piece of Yupo paper you have. And I have found that when I paint on Yupo paper without using my magic eraser on it first, it kind of beads up and doesn't stick to the paper well enough. And the next thing that you will need is just some regular old watercolor brushes. It really doesn't matter what you use. So the first thing I do is I put down some water with a big brush. I'm painting this particular heart pretty large. It's probably about seven by seven inches. Ooh, look at that color. <laughs> I mean, you could just stop right there and just watch it spread and see what it does. I have found that the dreamier effects are uh, possible the more water you have and just let it flow out and then just watch it. And it's just so beautiful and relaxing and satisfying to watch the paint move. And I think with the less paint you use, the dreamier your hearts will be. I found that when I kept adding paint, they got a little too heavy. And my favorite hearts that I did ended up being the ones where I put about this much paint and then just let it be. One thing that I would recommend is also using more than one color. The possibilities are absolutely endless. The other thing about you put paper is that if you don't like your heart, now the red paint usually does stain a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. You can completely wipe this off. In fact, you can wipe it off using your magic eraser. Wipe it off with damp paper towels, and if you don't like your heart, you just clean it off and try again. Another thing you can experiment with this technique is to drip rubbing alcohol on it, uh, sprinkle a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of salt on it. When it's medium wet, there are different things that you can sprinkle on your painting and it'll create different effects. So go ahead and try some of those. Sprinkle some water. When it's half dry, you can also tilt your paper to make a drippy, dreamy look. All right, I'm gonna show you all my favorite heart that came out the best in my opinion. And look how big I'm making it. I'm making it really big so that it really has room to bloom out and just do its watercolor thing. So I wanted plenty of room. Of course, you can paint these on a much smaller scale, but this is pretty large. I would say it's like 12 by 12 inches and I'm just putting tons and tons of water on my heart. And then I got some M. Graham Napthal Red. Again, you can just use whatever watercolor paint you have. And you can see there, even though I used the magic eraser, there are parts of the paper that are not allowing the paint to go across them. It's kind of like a beading kind of action. 
but it doesn't matter because these are going to be so loose and all right so i had my pure red now i'm getting some yellow and i'm adding a lot of water to my paint too so that when i drop it onto the heart and the water allows it to move more freely. It'll just really have a beautiful, soft watercolor, dreamy look if you use a lot of water. So I was just painting consecutive kind of heart stripes and then just letting them bloom into each other. And it's best not to overdo these. The hearts that I kept adding thick paint to got too heavy and they didn't have that soft, dreamy, floaty look anymore because there's too much paint. And I love that orange with the red too. I thought that was really pretty. So now you have the basic idea of how to do these hearts. I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of my footage and just enjoy it. But it's pretty self-explanatory. I was just playing and using these same techniques over and over and over again. And I could just paint these all week. And I just might because it's my birthday week and I can just have fun. <laughs> it's my birthday, I can play if I want to. So I might do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you maybe at the end, I don't know, but I'm gonna just put on some music and let you enjoy these mesmerizing hearts. Happy Valentine's everybody.